uh, little housekeeping as usual. Tonight's meeting of the ZBA is being recorded for RCTV Live. Com <coughs> excuse me, Comcast Channel 22 or Verizon Channel 33. The videographer for tonight's meeting is Ben. Check rctv.org for more information and for replay times. All right, we'll get right to the uh, agenda and one is more administrative in nature. Uh, we'll call to order the case of 1706, <coughs> excuse me, the continuance of a public hearing uh, on the application of, uh, uh, of William Crowley on behalf of Jameson Properties pursuant to uh, Chapter 48, Section 6 for variances from the Reading Zoning Bylaw, Section 6.3 under required side yard in the S15 zoning district for an existing house and proposed garage relative to a lot line created by an approved definitive subdivision plan on property located at 364 Lowell Street in Reading. Um, we've received notice that the applicant has requested to withdraw without prejudice uh, and uh, in order to put that, uh, want to get that on the record and we normally would do a a motion to approve the request for a withdrawal without prejudice. Do we have a motion? So moved. Robert, we have a second? Second. Cy, a second. Any discussion? All those in favor of the uh, withdrawal without prejudice? Five zero zero. Uh, that's approved. Just write a quick one up if you would, Robert. I will uh, do that. Just, sure. just so we have it for the yeah, five. Paragraph. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, the next uh, case on the agenda is case 17-10. And I'll go ahead and read the uh, meeting notice. Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public hearing in the Selectman's Meeting Room at Town Hall, 16 Lowell Street, Reading, Massachusetts, on Thursday, September 28, 2017, at 7 p.m. on the application of Kristen and Joe Schutt, pursuant to Mass General Laws Chapter 40A, Section 9, for a special permit under Reading Zoning Bylaw, Section 732, to extend an existing non-conforming structure built pursuant to a prior variance on the property located at 74 Street in Reading, Massachusetts. Uh, unless there's an objection, I'll dispense with the reading of the abutters list, except to say that the abutters were notified, as were the appropriate boards and committees in the town of Reading, members and associate members of the Board of Appeals, as well as the planning boards of the surrounding communities. Testimony given before this board is taken under oath, so if you think you may want to speak on this application, uh, please stand and raise your right hand. That would include the applicant. Okay, of the applicant. Okay, please stand and raise your right hand. Yeah. Thank you so much. I swear that the testimony given by me before this board will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. The responses I do. I do. Thank you very much. The floor is yours. Okay. Um, so we're just looking to add on to um, a property. Our property we had a variance um, back ten years ago to ex uh, extend our existing home. And we have a family room that's off the back of the house that we're looking to just extend to, add to that, that, that addition that we did as part of the variance. So there is an existing structure there already. It's a family room that was approved back in 2006 that we did. And we're just looking to, add, to extend it to be part of that existing dining room and the plans and all the information is included in this packet that we were asked to provide. Uh, so you're uh, proposing a one-story addition 7.73 feet by 15.3 feet? Correct, yeah. And a proposed expansion of an existing deck to 11.7 by 11 feet? Correct. Uh, all right, what we will do, uh, and that's all you have to, uh, that's all you'd like to present to the board? Uh, <laughs> I just want to yeah, make sure you're yeah. finished. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Okay, okay. great. Thank you. Uh, normally, we'll then next open up the uh, hearing to uh, board comments and questions. You need another pen? We have a letter from Glenn, right, uh, oh, David? Well, yeah, I'll go ahead and read that okay. uh, into the record. Once we get John situated, you got a pen that works? <laughs> there, there you go. All right, so uh, we do have a, uh, a memo. See, memo from uh, Glenn. Well, we actually have, we have the original um, 
in the packet we have the, the essentially the denial, if you will, by Glenn dated uh, August 23rd, 2017, uh, that's been made part of the record. And we also have a memo dated, uh, sorry, September 27th, 2017, regarding case 17-1070 Forest Street, Reading. Um, Glenn Redmond, the building inspector, um, reflects this proposal is to construct an addition 7.73 by 15.3 feet to the right side of the existing dwelling that has an existing right setback of 10.3 feet. The proposed addition has a right setback of 14.3 feet. This required right setback does not conform to the 15 feet that is required. A special permit under section 732 is required. I do not have any concern with this proposal. Uh, and he adds a correction. My letter of denial dated August 23rd, 2017 should have read 773 by 15.3, one story addition. So we have that in the, uh, in the hearing record. Uh, and so what we will then now do uh, is open up the uh, hearing to board comments and questions and we'll go ahead and start with Robert. Oh, okay, thank you, David. Uh, I took a review, uh, review of this, and uh, number one, I, I believe there's no new nonconformity being established here. Uh, proposed addition will be over 100 feet or so from the uh, front lot line, uh, and uh, it didn't appear to me that the uh, this would be substantially more detrimental to the neighborhood than uh, what's there now. So I, I would support a, a special permit here. Uh, I think if you take a look at the block plan, you can see why the, I think the variance that was issued back in what, uh, 2006 or very, very narrow lot, narrow and long, 50 foot by approximately 400 feet. Uh, so it uh, is governed by that or the, the, the property owners are handcuffed by, by the size of the lot there in regards to what they can do there. Uh, this, they're not creating any new non-formities as I said, so I, I fully support this. Thank you, Robert. Yeah. Nick. Uh, thanks. I pretty much agree with everything um, stated so far. Um, looking at this plot plan, it's pretty amazing. There's not much you can build within the setbacks. Uh, so I really don't see any other place you could put this. Um, and even to set it back to to have it conforming would almost look out of character anyways. Um, so I support this. And I don't have anything else to add. Thank you, Nick. John. Tom, <coughs> uh, well, looking at the initial application, I thought it was like a no later as, as Robert had mentioned. And then, um, I don't know what hit me someplace, but <coughs> the 14.3 feet of the edge of, your, of the original addition that you put on the house, granted some um, 11 years ago, um, was by variance. We're asking to extend that variance. Um, with a special permit. I don't believe we can extend a variance by virtue of a special permit. And I think this court uh, cases on that. Right? Last minute I looked at it and find it. Um, the, the idea is that the variance was created for this specific thing. You're asking us to alter the variance and continue it. Um, the only way you can do that is by which of another variance, in my mind, according to Chapter 48. So I, I'm definitely not against the proposal that was presented in your request for relief. I just, I'm not sure that what you're asking for is the best, is the appropriate means of getting to that end point. Hmm. Interesting, but I'm not sure that. Well, let, we'll talk about it. Let's yeah, let, let's discuss it. Okay. okay. Anything else? No. Okay. Sorry. 
It's an interesting thought, but my first initial reaction was <laughs> no brainer. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. It's, it's doing exactly what you want to do, to do what you want to do, <laughs> and how to do it. Uh, whether it requires a variance or not, I don't know. There's a variance that exists right now for 14.3 feet. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. So we're not. Probably the variance is there now. Yeah, and we're not. Good for the smaller port. Uh, I don't. Probably for the 14 anyway. I was going to say for the 10 foot maybe. But I'd well, have to go back and the, read, yeah, the, yeah, read the 2006 in detail to see. Yeah. I think it mentions the plan, which we don't have. We don't have the plan. Right. right. But I think, having sat the original case, I think it said that from yeah, a I point in the front, which was 10.3 feet, to a point in the rear consistent with the certified block plan being 14.3. Mm -hmm. So it ends at that point, 14.3. Right. So we're not creating a new one. Right. Well, that, that's, that's right. That's, that's 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 my thought as well. Right. The, 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 the variance. I don't know. I haven't read the details either. But go ahead. Sorry. I'm not uncomfortable thought. with approving it as requested. I guess is what I'm coming to a conclusion on. Okay. Uh, and, and whether that's right or wrong. Well, I think the I think the point should be made and clarified that the variance approved and made legal a non-conformity. So it, this is an existing non-conforming use. It's made made legal by the variance. Uh, this is not asking for a new non-conformity. It is extending the approved, the let's call it legal non-conformity, just extending it back. It's, it's not encroaching further. Right. It's extending it back. Well, it is encroaching it further because the variance stopped at that 14.3 feet point on the structure. And it, I mean, I don't have the dimensions. I don't even know if the original plot plan has a dimension of where that point is from the front yard. Um, well, I, yeah, typically I don't think they dimension it from the front yard. Maybe they did. It's hard to say. We don't have the plan. Yeah. Yes. And I, to tell you the truth, I didn't, that didn't come to me until I'm working on something today. And I don't know why it hit me, but it was about late Thursday in the afternoon. I said, oh, shucks. Well, so I, I just bring that up. Um, however you want to proceed, um, I believe there is litigation stating that you could not extend the variance without another variance. You cannot extend it with a special permit. And this is an extension from the front yard dimension to the rear. I know it's not increasing it any further, but I, I don't believe you can. Well, let's think about the net result of that, John. Mm -hmm. Variance runs with the land. Correct. And the special permit runs to the use, essentially. Right? It's going to be recorded and it's going to be recorded as a special a special permit that essentially approves an extension of an already legally permitted nonconformity. So I don't necessarily think that in order to extend this that it's required to reapprove essentially what you're saying. It's reapprove the variance. No. Or add extended. an additional add an additional variance because the encroachment into the side yard has already been improved been approved by variance. Again, I'm just I'm thinking I'm just thinking out loud with you just just because I think it is appropriate to do this by special permit, um, because we're not talking about something that necessarily requires a variance, because the variance has already been granted. I'm not aware of the case law you 
allude to. Yeah. Um, and certainly, I I remember. I suppose if the something. applicant, if we grant the applicant's request, and they run into a legal issue with regard to it, they can always come back. But they've asked us for you know, if, if for some reason somebody tries to nullify, if right. for some reason you're in a position where some legal authority, aside from this board. Uh, suggests to you a uh, challenges that special permit that provides legal support for that and I'm not aware of it but John seems to think there is but I'm not aware of it uh, they could still they could always they come, come they, they could always have to come back for uh, relief. Yeah. Uh, relief if that provides you with some uh, if, you, if you have some loss from that, if, it, if that's going to affect you negatively in some way, but I don't, I don't necessarily see that as pertinent to our today. Uh, what what they're here for, uh, and and like the rest of the board members, this seems like a right. fairly standard. Uh, you know, folks have yeah. alluded to it being a no-brainer, and I I tend to agree with that. Um, you know, we would we would. Uh, Require the the normal conditions that we would attach to a special permit, uh, and of course that would have to be approved by the building department. Uh, and you know, if the building department feels after further review that you're right, they'll let the applicant know. But but at this point, I don't. I'm not aware of. Uh, a variance being applicable here. That, that's just me. Uh, and I think it's appropriate to grant the special permit. Well, to vote on the special permit. Uh, and again, I would be in favor of it. Well, if I literally read section 732, I think we have the, I feel we have the authority to do this. And I'm comfortable even with right. acting on the basis of that, that exactly. paragraph. Okay? Exactly. And I agree, if something comes up, then it right. gets dealt with, but I don't, frankly don't think it's going to come up. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, I don't think it will be challenged. Huh? Yeah. I don't think. No. I really don't think so no. either, Jim. Yeah. I'd I mean, love to know where you got. That. I'd like to. Yeah. See that background. Well, maybe I can spend a little time. So if you could send it to us, would you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I would tend to agree with you, David. And it, it, it just it just seems like it's common sense. It's then we're not creating a new nonconformity up at that corner. I could see if they were maybe going, say, even you know, they were extending it beyond that corner by a foot or so. And so your your offset up there changed to thirteen feet or thirteen point three. Then you're creating a new side yard setback nonconformity at that particular point, but they're not doing that. And, and it looks like 98% of this addition is in the building envelope, which is, I think, uh, very, very difficult. Well, and creative. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so. Do you feel the same way? I, I feel strongly with what Sai said. I think the, uh, what the section the special permit is requested under is applicable to that. I mean, if we didn't even have the background on the variance and we just saw this, I think we would have voted under Section 732 anyways. And ran yeah. I, think, I, I, I think you're right. Um, I, agree, I agree with what you're saying. I agree with Ty. Uh, I think Robert agrees and John. If we had more time and research, perhaps, yes. yep. uh, you could flesh out what your initial suspicions are, but, but I think um, I think it's appropriate to vote on it as a uh, special permit. Um, all right. So as we normally do, we will open up the hearing to public comment. Anybody else want to speak on the application? Hearing none, we'll close the public comment section. Uh, at this point, I think it's appropriate for a motion. Somebody want to make that motion? I'll do it. All right, side. I would move to grant the petitioners, Kristen and Joe Shutt, a special permit under Reading Zoning Bylaw Section 7.3.2, 
extending it to extend an existing non-conforming structure built pursuant to the prior variance on the property located at 70 Forest Street in Reading. In accordance with the plot plan of land prepared and certified by John Sullivan, uh, box uh, 204 Woburn, dated, I believe it's August 8th. Yes. 7th, 2017. And uh, in accordance with architectural drawings prepared by C. Sweeney Designs, sheets, I'm going to refer to all the sheets, uh, A through A08 dated August 16th, 2017. Uh, conditions that apply to this permit are that the petitioner shall submit to the building inspector a certified plot plan for the proposed construction and proposed foundation plan prior to the issuance of a foundation permit for the work that the petitioner shall submit to the building inspector final construction plans for the proposed structure along with the as-built foundation plan for that structure prior to the issuance of a building permit. And the petitioner shall submit to the building inspector as-built plans and new structure prior to the issuance of an occupancy permit. So moved. Do we have a second? Second. Robert. Any further discussion on the motion and second? John. With the perception that there are four people who are definitely for the special permit um, means of relief, I'm going to vote in the negative. I'll tell you that in, in advance. That's nothing against your proposal because I think it's a natural occurring proposal. I'm just voting against the procedural aspect of it. That's all. Okay. All right. You could have just raised your hand. No. Well, I, I know, I, 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 know you, I know, you felt like you wanted to explain that. Okay, any further discussion? Okay, hearing none. All those in favor? All those opposed? The permit's granted four to one. You need four out of five. Okay. <laughs> uh, so your permit is granted. Hang back for a second. I'm going to stamp your plans. You'll need to include those with the decision. Okay. Uh, you can pick your decision up in about a month, maybe a little longer than a month. Keep in touch with the building department they'll um, they'll keep you posted as to when the appeal period runs okay. that's when it, it you can record it and do what you need to do with it okay okay thanks thank for you. your patience thank while we work through it thank you thank you all right let's stamp this page of the, uh, no, I wouldn't. I'm just going to do this, so I thought, let's see, oh, down the budget, yeah, I'll, I'll use a clip, <laughs> I'll use a clip. David, how about just a clip? Yeah, that's what I got, yeah, I got, oh, I got, okay. yeah, I got. There's about 15 of them. No staples. Money no clips. No staples. Money clips. I was 0 for 2 on these staplers, so I gave up. <laughs> and I think that might have been by design by people who use this from more quickly, such as the, perhaps the select men, uh, CPDC, who, got, who do not like to staple anything. Oh. Mm -hmm. So they would rather use clips. Mr. Shutt, come on up. Your uh, plans and drawings are stamped. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very Same much. Again. I really <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you are aware of the fact that there is a 20 day period? Yep. Yes. Yes. 14 days to have the decision filed with the clerk and then a 20 day appeal period. And then the letters go out again to the, the, the butters, correct? Once the decision has been completed or? All right, that's that one, that's that one. All right. Oh, 
Excuse me? Is that the one we just did? Is that the... Um, That's a special permit. That's the one we drew. Yeah, the special permit is 410. Oh, 410. You're right. Thank you for correcting me. Okay. Uh, you guys are done, yeah? All Unless right. you want to hang around for the rest of the meeting. <laughs> You're more than welcome to. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Bye. All right, so the next... Uh, Next matter on the agenda is a uh, old case. It is a case 1004, a request for an extension of a comprehensive permit in case 1004 for the Beacon Court 40B. That was well before my time. Um, is you the applicant, sir, for that? No, I'm in a butter. I'm sorry? I'm in a butter. Oh, you are in a butter. The applicant is not present? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> uh, we heard nothing from the building inspector. If the this. applicant is not present, then, and the applicant has not requested a continuance, then I don't know that it's even appropriate to vote on that in any meaningful way, because the applicant hasn't, I mean, there hasn't been a fault, I mean, it just, the, the, the notice says request for a permit extension. Yeah. It's other business. Uh, yeah, under, 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 another under, business. under another business, I suppose. Uh, uh, I was told. We, yeah. Yeah. I'm Why sorry, sir. Could you identify sir, yourself for the record? No, no. You could just it? identify yourself for the for the record, sir. Uh, you John Joyce, 890 Main Street. Um, I was told that that, that um, permit was, was expired. As were we. So, huh? As, we, as of about a year ago. That's correct. October of 2016. It so expired. how could he get an extension on a uh, permit that's expired? That is correct, sir. But the, the hearing, is the, the applicant is not present to make that request. Your uh, statements are well taken and very much understood. Oh, yeah. And I think uh, maybe the belief of members of this board, including this chair, that you are correct. Uh, however, um, no formal request has been made by the applicant. Right. So we don't have a formal board, request. So we, so we cannot. Do we proceed. just do we? So we can't proceed. We'll just, just table it. We'll just close it and. and I just uh, have one comment. What's that? There was a asterisk. Asterisk. Yeah. Next to that, is there any reason why that asterisk is there? Kind of signifying another signifying business thing? Signifying that maybe something else somewhere? I put that because it's not the typical format. Not a case, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. okay. We have nothing and to discuss. That's just it. There was no packet submitted. We don't know what the request is for, why he would need it. Uh, yeah, I do, but yeah. the applicant hasn't is not present to be heard. Um, so therefore, no formal request. So no request has no request has been made, uh, and so my sense is that we would just close the hearing, cl close any close any discussion on it, uh, taking no action. Right. Agreed. Uh, and if the applicant wants to try to get on another other business, he'll have to discuss that with the town staff. Fair enough. Yeah. All right. I would agree. All right. Uh, Whatever so the status is at the moment, that's what it remains to be. Yeah, I mean, it is, it is, yeah, it is currently an expired, from what we understand, a comprehensive permit. It remains as such, uh, and that's that. And that's how it will remain uh, without a request for extension formally being made by an applicant. All right. We have some minutes. That's that. Thank you. See you. Thank, you. Thank you for your commentary and. Uh, so you, um, that'll be posted when the next meeting. If he, if, if, if he if he presents to the to the uh, to daytime government and asks to be put on another agenda, that agenda will be posted. Yes. Okay. Um, could could you call me in reference to that or email me um, when that meeting is? Because. Uh, 
Yeah, unless I it's likely to be very. Know. It's likely to be almost as short as this one, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All thank, right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's kind of odd. Mm. I don't think since I've been on this board that we've had somebody on the agenda not show up. Right. Uh, I, since I've been on the board, I've been on the board what five, five about five years. I've never had an applicant not show up. I cannot recall in my tenure in this board <laughs> ever having that happen. No. Okay, all right, so and we're all kind of scratching our head a little bit I as to- I believe, John could correct me if I'm wrong, we, we extended that permit once before, and we did listen to the- Twice. Twice, was it? Yeah. Uh -huh. And we did listen to arguments from the uh, permit holder at that time. But, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think 40 is very clear on that too, and I believe the applicant was in to see daytime government, and perhaps that's why he's not in to see. Well, I mean, you know, I, I received a memo today, a, a forwarding of an email today to Julie from the applicant that the applicant was going to appear tonight hmm. uh, and ask another question of the board or ask for, for different permission relating to being allowed to continue at his own peril with construction while he sought further appellate review, I think, of an, I'm presuming that he, he thought that the board would deny his request for an extension of an expired comprehensive permit. He's probably right. Um, but if he's not here to make that application, then we're not going to hear it, and we're not right. going to pass upon it. Yeah. All right, so we have minutes. Let's do the minutes. Mr. Salomon? Yes. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. we've, we've, we've closed the matter. We opened that's, it. That's what I'm looking for. We closed it. Yeah. The public, has, the, the public has the public left. Has left. Mm -hmm. um, is this a public hearing? Pardon? Is, it, is this a public hearing? Is that what I'm hearing? Uh, the public hearing's been closed on your matter. We called it and you weren't here. And we closed it allowing uh, members of the public who were here to hear your application to leave. Um, the hearing was posted for, uh, for 7 p.m. Uh, well, here's the member of the public that was here. So, uh, I had informed uh, Je Jennifer, is it, that I would, that I would be able to make it at 7:30. Okay, we opened the hearing at seven o'clock, sir. That's that's, uh, and and I received no notice. All right, so let's leave it up to the. You know, it's ultimately up to me. We're here. The member of the public that was here for this other business uh, is here. Uh, Claims that he had advised daytime government that he would be late, and um, we're here. Do the board have any board members have any uh, objection to reopening and hearing the applicant, Robert? Well, I I, I do. It's against my better judgment. The uh, applicant should have been here at seven o'clock. That's when the meeting is. I. I We'll go along, though, with the majority of the board, whatever the board discusses, and if we want to hear it again, that's fine. Do you right. know what I say yes. Nick? I, I could see go either way, but given that the, uh, the the member from the public did come back and he has the opportunity to hear out and say his piece, okay. I'm okay. Right. Right. John? Go along with that. Sorry. I agree with Bob, and I'll go along with okay. Common sense. All right. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and hear it. Uh, I think it'll be fairly swift. All right, so rather, rather than go through the minutes, uh, we'll, we'll open case 1004. Uh, it's a request for a permit extension for the Beacon Hill, Beacon Court, 40B, Mr. Salomon. 
on uh, la last month I obtained my contractor obtained the uh, bridge opening permit to install infrastructure through the uh, engineering department and uh, when that work was completed uh, they revoked the permit but the work was done and, and they had no and inspected and, and all and they had no issue further than that then I was informed uh, that the permit expired in uh, 2016 and that's their reason for revoking the trench opening permit and the infrastructure work in case they didn't bring you up to speed and uh, I'm in the process of uh, healing it to the or filing him a request for reinstatement with the HAC and I just wanted the board to be formally informed and I apologize for not coming at 7 she can she uh, affirmed that it wouldn't be an issue otherwise I would have left work early we work till 7 on uh, Thursdays in Amesbury and, um, and that's basically it I would like to continue work on the approved improvements to the way the private way in front of my house which the drainage has been an ongoing problem forever and part of this project was to uh, capture all that runoff um, catch basins have been installed um, piping has been installed it's all on private property the capture and um, infiltration there is no uh, tying into uh, public drainage and uh, I always had intention of improving that private way it's an approved uh, well-designed plan doesn't change anything either way 40b or otherwise and uh, short of that that's the story so you're presently pursuing an appeal at the housing appeals committee correct okay what is it that you want this board to do with that understanding that you're doing that what are you asking this board to do I'm just putting you just letting you know what the uh, chain of events chronology that's you know chronologically that's going on and uh, so to keep you in the loop okay uh, and I'd like to build the street in front of my house and, and, and so what you'd like to do is not before this board correct are you asking this board to give you some sort of a permission to continue work on an expired comprehensive permit? What I'm What are you asking this board to do tonight, sir? We appreciate the information that you provided to us, and we appreciate you keeping this board in the loop. Certainly, we're always that's what we're here for, and we enjoy uh, and, and appear here as volunteers to hear uh, additional information. What is it that you would like from this board tonight? Anything? I. I, like I said, I wanted to inform you of what, you know, what is going on, what has gone on, and uh, am I asking for an extension? I would say the short answer is no, because you don't, I, I believe, I'm not an attorney, but from an, a legal opinion, that you can't e extend something that's expired. Can you reinstate it? Perhaps. That, you know, again, I'm not a, a legal legally educated um, I don't have a law degree no I would like to improve the way in front of the, the private way in front of my house and I don't know that you can or can't <clears throat> approve that we cannot this, this is not this board's jurisdiction or authority to approve you to do any work in town that's daytime government's job okay that would be the building department community services uh, and engineering and daytime government that would approve any permit applications that you would have new old or otherwise uh, your 40b permit is expired and uh, this board is not inclined to grant you an extension of an expired permit so to the extent that the notice that's been published requests a permit extension we can certainly vote on that but uh, if you want um, I think it's but, 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 
you've already advised that you're going to seek an appeal of that through the Housing Appeals Committee, and that's your right. As far as what you want to do with the property with an expired 40B permit, we're not privy to any of your construction plans, drawings, or otherwise outside of the 40B comprehensive permit that's expired. So um, we're not going to grant you any permission, and we don't have the authority or the jurisdiction to grant you any permission to do anything with that property, either pursuant to a 40B permit, comprehensive permit, or otherwise. We're a permit granting authority, special permit, comprehensive permit granting authority by statute. So uh, to the extent um, that you've informed us that you're going to appeal, I wish you luck. Uh, and as far as any other questions or comments that you have related to the project or any of your uh, expectations or plans with regard to that project, you would do well to consult with the building department and community services department. My advice to you. All right? If I need uh, a, uh, a denial, I'll just come back. If the, uh, well, you, you can have one now. Why would you want to come back? Uh, a denial not, of... You can't have something right. that's not... I mean, we're gonna, we would deny his application. He has a good application. application. There was no application. The 1004 was in 2010. 04 was the was the original case. Okay. All right, that so was, that's good. That's that a was, little history. That was that was there was an extension on that. It lapsed. Uh, we gave an extension. The extension lapsed. We closed it down. Mr. Salmon came back in and redid that with updated information of what he wanted to do. It's the exact same thing in my mind happened again. The extension was granted, but it expired on the 6th uh, October, whatever the date is, 2016. So this is an old... Right. It doesn't, it, it doesn't apply. Yeah. What applies for the 16th is not, is not a continuation of 1004. Okay. T actually, so... 1004 is non-existent anymore. Correct. Right. Okay. All right. All right. So then it wouldn't even be appropriate to to no. vote on anything. All right. So yeah, if you want, if you if you wanted to vote on something, make application with the town and and they'll put it on an agenda. Yeah, we don't All have right? anything before us to work with. Right. And therefore, we can't give you a decision. Right. The comprehensive permits expired. That's that's the fact. And, and, and I, I think the applicant is right. If it's expired. That's it. It can't be extended. Right, it's except well, he's he's yeah. gonna choose his housing appeals committee or right. further his rights with the housing appeals committee or whatever venue he needs to go to. Yeah. All right. Very good. Uh, thank you for your time and, thank you. and thanks for coming before. Can, can I make a couple of comments? Sure, sure. We'll, we'll, we'll give you an opportunity to have a, a, a public um, comment. So if this expired, there's uh, the, there's issues up there that he has a fence that the, supposedly the town told them where to put it and if I have a right of way up to the back of his property and there's a fence on it he has a fence so I can't get to my property in the back um, so my, my question is um, what procedure do I do to get that fence down uh, you would do well to uh, perhaps consult with a professional who can advise you with regard to what you need to do to preserve your property rights if you feel they've been affected. This board is not in the process or in the habit of providing you with legal advice, uh, but I would suggest that you take advantage of that and, and uh, seek independent, perhaps even legal counsel to uh, try to preserve any rights that you feel have been infringed upon. Okay, and so is is the town going to make them move all the dirt? Is you know, big piles of dirt back there and so forth. Uh, that would be a good question for daytime government. Yeah, it would be. Okay. I mean, yeah. Uh, it's everything that existed before is gone. It's expired. I don't know how you yeah. do any work on the property. Right. I don't know how you do it. Right. Okay. Very good. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a good night. Do we need to, do we need to call the police? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Okay.
Now with the minutes. All right, back to the minutes. I cannot. Okay. <laughs> oh, then you can't read. You want me to read them to you? <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? No, I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to go uh, with whatever the rest of the board. No, I've, I've already. Glasses, They're just reading glasses. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it'll take too long. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen sent us draft uh, meeting minutes. I, I, right, yeah, these are ones I looked at them. Yeah, yeah, I've, yep. already, seen, yep. I've already seen them. Right. All right. I can say is you take good notes. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, does anybody have any thoughts or comments? Or do you want want to give you a few minutes to go through them, Robert? I, I've gone through. I, I, so we have two sets of minutes. We have one. I think we have a draft of uh, the yeah the what the, the ones that we missed. August seventeenth, the last August seventeenth, and we've got. In, in, August uh, and September and yeah, September seventh. So I, I only have one comment on the August seventeenth. Right. Go ahead. And that is the last page where we uh, what fourth paragraph down. Motion made. If we get inserted by Mr. Redfern. Motion made. Mr. Yeah. Just that was all I found on that. I didn't have any comments on seventeenth. Seventeenth. Oh, oh, which, which where are you seeing that, Robert? On the on the last, August seventeenth minutes. August seventeenth, last page. The very back page, page four. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I, and it it was corrected, wasn't it? I I'm looking at an older edition. Oh, of it. okay. It looks pretty good. And yeah. I see it is there on the newer. <laughs> see, she's yeah. ahead of you. Yeah, she is. <laughs> she's yeah. ahead of you. Yep, yeah. you're right. right. Cool. All right. Uh, any other comments, questions? All right, we'll have a uh, motion. Move to accept the minutes of uh, the uh, August 17th meeting uh, as written. Second. Second. Robert, all those in favor? Five zero zero. Yeah. yeah. September 7th meeting, any comments, questions? Uh, Additions? I only have one thing. Page three, third page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh paragraph down. Mr. Jerima, Mr. Coet, and Mr. Redmond. Should that be Redford? Redford? No. No, that's Glenn was Glenn. here for that one. Glenn was, was here it? for that one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I just want to double check. Oh, but okay. I see what you're saying. You hear what I'm saying? Because it's three board members are all saying. Yeah, these are all the board, board members. Be for He's both. not a board member. And so it probably is, should be Mr. Redford. Mm -hmm. I think you're right side. Which one is it? What page? Page three. Um, page three. Seventh paragraph. Seventh paragraph down. Starts off. Mr. Uh, Jarema, Mr. Cohen, and Mr. Redmond. I think it should be Redford. I agree. And if you watch it back, it was Glenn. Was it? But it, I don't think it should be. No, because it was just that was just discussion. It wasn't for the vote. They were just you guys were discussing how the vote should be. Okay. That's fine. That's it, it could have been. Yeah. Could have been. Glenn he was here, so if he spoke. You know, we all, all right. we had a we had an open long and open discussion about yes we did uh, many we'll things that <laughs> but good good pickups I I I miss that yeah. anybody else motion I'll go ahead and make a motion that we accept the uh, minutes of uh, September seventh two thousand seventeen as written second I'll second that one sorry. All those in favor? Five zero zero. All right. Before we adjourn, um, just a reminder that next Wednesday is the uh, Economic Development Forum at the library. What time does it start? You know? Six. Six o'clock. Six. Oh, that's right. Cool. Uh, six. Yeah, I'll probably have a little introduction, social gathering, probably with some refreshments and such. Uh, Cy has indicated he's going to go. I'm going to try to make it. John and Robert probably won't make it. Okay. The meeting's been posted by Kristen anyway, so we'll uh, we'll have a quorum there and we'll open the meeting there and yada yada yada. What they have to say. And, uh, it's going to be uh, Jay Ash, the secretary of what is it? Local Housing and Urban Development, I think it is. I think, that, I think that's how you say it. So it should be informative, and we'll and, go from there. And former uh, 
town manager for the city of Chelsea. Is that right? Or was he mayor? Whatever the top elected position is, he did that for many years. So while I was there. I think it would be mayor. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, that's all I have uh, on the agenda tonight. So uh, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So moved. John, second? Second. That. Nick? All those in favor? 500. Zero, zero. Hearings adjourned.